Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Atiya Allah Atiya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajis wa da'ifu wa miskeenu zalim wa jahalim but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us a life to enter into the holy month of Safar and the realities of the holy cave. And that cave alhamdulillah we described as uh, the cave of safety, the reality of A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem that before anything of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and every knowledge and every reality can open we have to seek refuge in those whom are in Allah's refuge and be with them Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. And Allah described, this the best of company, these are the people whom are with Allah If we want to seek refuge from the devil and be with Allah then we have to be with those whom are already with Allah So this is the month in which to run from badness on this hijrah into the Divinely Presence and that, that reality opening for us is the holy cave that we want a life like the Ashab al-Kahf, that the people whom serve the Divinely Cave and Divinely Presence and we want to be from amongst them and accompany them. And alhamdulillah we described last night that Allah gives for us the entryway that even a dog taking difficulties and testings can enter into Divine Grace. So that the reality extremely high and entryway very easy. That's why Mawlana Sultanul Awliya would describe, make your way easy. That the way Prophet the people come is an easy path. So it doesn't mean they have to reach such high levels of akadim such high level of intellect that make the path to be easy. If a dog can get in, everybody has a chance. And all it requires is a mannerism and the adab and good character. And then to be reminded that because it hits you in an instant and people lose themselves. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. In a blink of an eye, because on paper it's a philosophy, on paper it sounds good. I should be patient. Seconds later they get tested and there's no sign of any patience because it hits you from every direction and, and we say, well no, no this wasn't a part of that. I was going to accept being tested in other things. So Allah is testing in any manner and in any fashion and that test comes at any moment and every ruh that comes into our life it's an opening of Allah's rahmah. If the rocks don't fly then what happens? Then this tajalli of Hayba, majestic and the emanations of might and majesty that change the servant. Beautific emanation is something different. Without the emanation of might and majesty there's no nobility in the soul. They just appear to be kind. And that has a, an illusion 
the completeness and the wholeness of the individual is Divine Majesty and Might. That Might comes and pushes away evilness. That Might comes and stands for truth against oppression and the oppression of the self first and then the oppression of others. Because how can we stand for the oppression of others and help others if we didn't fight the oppression within ourselves? I mean that's why emailing, oh I, I want to protest in this country, it's so important to protest and people are not allowed to come to protest and no, no it's, there's no protest in tariqah. Because the reality is that we have to fight the inner oppression, otherwise we become hypocrites. We're standing on the streets talking for a freedom and don't oppress and don't, don't do this, don't do that but yet within ourselves we are like a oppressor against our soul. We follow the whispers of shaitan and every evilness and wickedness and badness at the cost of our soul and the ticket towards the Divine Reality. So tariqah comes and removes the hypocrisy and say, before we worry about all the people on the street we have to worry about that one who's going into the grave because you're only going to be questioned about your grave, my grave, your grave. We only get questioned about our own grave, not a politician, not a famous person, not anything. That we have to first stand for the truth of our own reality against the oppression of our own demons and devils and bad characteristics. So this becomes an immense reality for the one who wishes to attain these Divine realities. Who knows himself will know his Lord. This is then all of the realities of entering into this cave. Those whom are inspired by Allah to seek this particular type of teaching because they, they are being inspired by Prophet to complete these hadiths. That how would somebody who knows themselves to know their Lord, to know their authority because the correct translation of Rabb is authority. The only one who knows their nafs will understand what is uh, authority and rules over them. And this becomes the immense importance of reaching any type of Divine Reality and Divine Grace and the destruction of all hypocrisy. For hypocrisy keeps us the furthest away from the Divinely Presence. Disbelief is disbelief, so that's in itself has its own reality. But to believe and to live a life of hypocrisy, that hypocrisy has to be shattered in which we, we come to the true worshipness of Allah to enter into the true grace of the Divinely Presence and to destroy all of the inner hypocrisies of the self. That I have to fight my inner demons, my inner bad characteristics, understand what is it that governs me, why does it govern me? If it's good, alhamdulillah, if it's not I have to busy myself to attack it, to fight it and to destroy it. Only at the time that those devils and that badness and that idol is destroyed, we step nearer into the Divinely Presence. And that's the immensity of the battle and that Prophet described, this is Jihad al-Akbar, the fighting of other people is a jihad but the greatest one Akbar is the one who fights themselves because the victory is what? Nothing, no reward, nobody giving you trophies, there's no bounty that you collected. It's a private reward for those whom believe because their reward comes from Allah they do it for the sake of the love of Allah the shame that they feel of their character, this love that they have for Allah that they're ashamed of their character. And the Ya Rabbi don't give up on me and make me to withdraw from my class, let me to be inspired to always make you happy. Illahi and that, that why at the beginning stages the one of the most important zikrs that Mawlana Shaykh described. La yanta maqsudi wa ridat matlu that I'm begging your forgiveness and seeking your satisfaction. 
Illahi anta maqsudi wa ridat matloob. I beg your forgiveness and seek your satisfaction. Forgiveness for what? You gave me a seat to the reality and I'm not achieving it. And that I want to reach your satisfaction so that Allah doesn't tire from us and say, you're not seeming like you're going to take this path seriously and you're not doing anything about this path so might as well take you out and bring somebody else. Seating is limited. Allah's mercy is unlimited but the seating is limited. There's only so many of these souls that are teaching this reality so that they become stars on a dark night. That formula signifies that the darkness would be more and the illuminated souls would be less. And that's, that's the reality of why we have dark skies and, and little bit of stars to illuminate our reality. If Allah wanted He could have made every day just daylight. Everybody would have born into bin realities and they would have been born purified and that would have been the reality of angels. What sets us apart from angels is our free will. As a result of free will Allah raises the darajat and the station of the servant to be very high above the station of angels because they have a choice. They have a choice not to participate and not to raise their reality and when they do Allah grants them an immense reward. We pray in this month of the cave that Allah grant us a, a deeper understanding every year is a deeper reality. Subhana man hu alimul hakeem, the all-knowing and the all-wise, this is a month of majestic might. So then we say, okay majestic might and then this is the month of Alimul Hakim that Allah wants to grant knowledges and make the person from the ancient reality of Alim and that the ancient reality of Hakim, Hikmah so that they have a wisdom. Because knowledge without wisdom, wisdom without knowledge then is incomplete. So this tajalli of majestic might and majesty has an immense, immense importance in the way of knowledges and wisdom. So by virtue of those dressings and lights upon the soul, it lays the foundation for Divinely knowledges and wisdom. The wisdom comes from the grace of Divine and Divine wisdom is a humbleness and humility within the soul in which Allah inspires every word of knowledge to have the wisdom and hikmah behind it. That its use and its application of the knowledge and that it is not a knowledge that harms but nourishes and encourages the soul. InshaAllah Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifoon Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Muhammadillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Hurmati Muhammad Al Mustafa Bi Siri Surat Al Fatiha Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.